Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video on Central Drug Inspector Exam Paper Answer Explanation. On uh, 19th August 2023, Central Drug Inspector Exam was held. So in this video series, I will solve the questions subject wise. In this video, I will explain pharmacology related questions. Let us see the questions first. The first question is, which of the following is an example of reverse transcriptase inhibitor? Options given are acyclovir, cytarabine, idoxyuridine, zidovudine. Now understand reverse transcriptase is an essential enzyme which is present in HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. The normal process of transcription is synthesizing RNA from DNA. So from a DNA you get RNA. Now reverse transcriptase means it is in the opposite direction from RNA, DNA is synthesized and this happens in HIV with the help of enzyme reverse transcriptase. Now this enzyme is inhibited by drugs which are used to treat HIV infection. Now the answer for this is zidovudine. Now let's see the remaining options like acyclovir, uh, idoxyuridine, both of them, they inhibit DNA polymerase in virus, especially they are used to treat herpes simplex virus caused infections. Now the other uh, option B, cytarabine, fludarabine, cladribine, all these drugs act as anti-metabolites which are used to treat cancer. Now these drugs inhibit DNA polymerase in human cells. So they are used to treat cancer. So overall the reverse transcriptase inhibitor is zidovudine. Now let us see the next question. Nitric oxide is biosynthesized from options given are L-citrulline, L-glycine, L-arginine, L-tyrosine. Now understand all these are amino acids. Now L is the natural configuration of amino acids. In case of sugars, D sugars are natural one. In case of amino acids, L amino acids are natural one. Now nitric oxide is biosynthesized from arginine. Arginine is a basic amino acid which contain a guanido group. What happens is in presence of nitric oxide synthase enzyme, arginine releases nitric oxide and is converted to citrulline. Again, citrulline is one of the major intermediate in urea cycle. Coming to the next option, see L-glycine is the simplest amino acid. The formula is NH2CH2COOH. The uniqueness of L-glycine is it do not have asymmetric carbon. Leaving this glycine, remaining all other amino acids are contains asymmetric amino acids. If amino acid contain an asymmetric carbon, that is considered as a chiral, chiral molecule. Whereas L-glycine is achiral because asymmetric carbon is not present. Now L-tyrosine is one of the uh, starting, uh, it is the starting uh, uh, amino acid for the biosynthesis of noradrenaline. Tyrosine converts to dopa, dopa converts to dopamine, dopamine converts to norepinephrine. So this is about it. So nitric oxide is synthesized from L-arginine. Let's see the next question. Now thalidomide previously banned for its teratogenic activity is again introduced in the market for which of the following use? Options given are sedative hypnotic, anti-convulsant, lepromatic reactions, antibiotic. Now we all know about uh, thalidomide. Thalidomide has caused greatest medical disaster. It has resulted in uh, focomelia, emilia kind of condition wherein kids were born without limbs or half limbs. Now see thalidomide again reintroduced into the market for two major purposes. One, it is used to treat uh, multiple myeloma, a type of cancer which affects plasma cells. Another one is lepromatic reactions. So it is widely being used to treat lepromatic reactions. So the option for this question is option C, lepra reactions. Sedative hypnotic was the earlier use which has caused teratogenic activities for which it is banned. So it is not. So answer C is the option. Let us see the next question. Now primaquin induces hemolysis in African patients deficient in which of the following enzymes? Options given are glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, carbonic anhydrase, acetylcholine esterase and chymotrypsin. Now see, uh, this primaquin is widely used to treat uh, malarial infection. Now it causes hemolysis in patients who are deficient with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Now, what is the relationship? Let us understand this one. See, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an essential enzyme in the pathway of HMP shunt, hexose monophosphate shunt, which is also known as pentose phosphate pathway. Now, what happens is with this enzyme, it generates NADPH. Now, significance of NADPH is it reduces glutathione. Now, the reduced form of glutathione is essential in, in neutralizing free radicals. So, if, if few radicals are not neutralized, they will cause hemolysis. This is what is the link. I'll repeat this briefly. See, NADPH 
reactivates glutathione and converts into glutathione uh, uh, reductase, uh, reduced form. This reduced form of glutathione neutralizes free radicals. If glutathione is not reduced, the free radicals will cause hemolysis. If someone has got glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, NADPH is not liberated. If NADPH is not liberated, glutathione will not be reduced. Free radicals will cause hemolysis. So this is the answer explanation. I hope this is useful. In the series of videos, I will solve all the questions with explanation. All the best.